Hello all and welcome to The Mug Life DIY. My name is Julia and I am so glad you decided to stop by my channel where I do all things crafting, you name it, with a whole bunch of hot glue. Today I'm participating in the Twine It Up Challenge and I will talk more about that, but we're just gonna jump right into project number one. Now this first project is a combination of items that I already had from the Dollar Tree and from my craft stash. So I took this little Dollar Tree round wood ornament, I'm going to say is what it's called, and I gave it a good coat of my black acrylic paint. Now I only did one coat. I didn't mind if it wasn't a full coverage or very opaque, but I thought it worked pretty well and I let that fully dry and then we're going to move on to step two. Now I'm going to grab this other little scrap piece of wood that I had from a previous project that fell apart and I'm going to glue the two parts together. Now it was painted gold, it was originally a wood, but I decided to leave it gold, I liked it. So whatever you have on hand or if you would want to stack two of these Dollar Tree wooden circles, that would work out well. And I am taking the Dollar Tree faux leather ribbon because one, I'm totally obsessed with it. And two, I just love the look of it and the texture that it brings to every project I create. So I just glued that to the top section. Then we're going to begin the Mod Podge twine process. <laughs> now, let me just say this project is nothing like I thought it would turn out, but I end up liking it. This was a struggle. So I dipped all of my twine into the Mod Podge and thoroughly gave it a good, we're, we're going to say soaking. Yes. Then I just took whatever glass, um, vase, vase, glass that you have, that I had, <laughs> and I wrapped it around. There is no rhyme or reason to what I was doing. I was just trying to give it a overall like pretty balanced look now did it actually end up how i wanted it no but i really like how it ended up so that was the first step i actually got more twine and did a whole other section i would actually even say you should do this process at least three times to give it a really thick thick twine around it so that it doesn't lose its shape so I went ahead and wrapped it around my glass jar or glass vase, <laughs> where's the hard guys? <laughs> and I wrapped it around, let that fully dry, which it took about an hour or so to dry inside my house, which the heat is on. I don't think that's too long of a dry time. Then I kind of shimmied it off of my glass and pulled it all the way down. Now I feel like there has to have been an easier way to do this, but for the life of me, this was the best way I could think of doing it. And see how it kind of began to lose its shape? That's why I would recommend doing maybe a few more of the twine to give it some extra durability and strength. So what I did was I took some bamboo skewers from the Dollar Tree and I glued them all the way around and that just helped everything stay in place a lot better. And then I just trimmed it all the way down. I did give it a coat of my black farmhouse spray paint by Rust-Oleum. Then I just went ahead and glued all the way around and you're going to glue it to your little wooden sections or blocks. And if you can't tell by that little light <laughs> or the little push light that's right there, we are making a little push lantern and let me know what you guys think of this one. And of course, I didn't quite think it had enough twine, so I took some more of my twine and I completely wrapped the middle section of that gold and covered it up. And I also added those two little push, push pins, push, mm, those little silver things. I used them kind of to look like faux nails in the faux leather ribbon. So I added that extra little detail as well and I glued that all the way around, cut it down to size, and I'm also going to add another layer of that um, natural twine color around the base of the black section. 
And as I mentioned before, this is a awesome monthly collab with my friend Fanny over at Creations by Favi and Crafting with Maria is her co-host this month. And I'm so excited to be participating in this fun challenge. And it was a challenge for me this time, but I had so much fun and I hope you will check out the play playlist that I have in the description box. All right, now we are jumping into our project number two. Now I am taking the leftover bamboo skewers of the Dollar Tree pack that I bought and I'm just kind of trimming down those little pointy parts. And then I began to cut down. Now I have three of the exact same shorter skewers and then I have three longer skewers that all match. I wanted them to be all of the same size because we're going to be creating the word hi out of our bamboo skewers. So I took my twine and wrapped it around all of the bamboo skewers. This took a little bit of time. I definitely recommend listening to an audiobook if you love books like me or watching something on your phone just to pass the time because this section takes a little bit of time and a lot of patience. Once I had all of my twine bamboo skewers finished, I began to put my words together and I wish I had just honestly waited until after I finished the next part of the sign, but I did not. So this is what you need to do first. I am taking one of these Dollar Tree chalkboard signs and we're gonna be using the back side, not the actual chalkboard side. And I glued the rest of the pack that I had of the bamboo skewers because one, I love the texture and I thought it would give a really fun look and definite, just something popping <laughs> versus it just being a flat sign. So I just began the wonderful gluing process of pushing all of them down. And I honestly wish I could find all of my little uh, crafting clamps, but my kids are always going in my bag. I definitely recommend these that I got um, from a discount store, which I'm going to have to ask my husband what that store is called, but I absolutely loved it. I have seen some clamps also from the Dollar Tree. I have several of those and have used them crafting in the past, but definitely you want something to hold them down. Then I clay or then I cut all of them down with my pliers. Then I began applying my paint. Now this is just regular white acrylic paint, but because I had some black, I knew it would give a really fun, almost ombre gradient effect and create that really pretty gray. And I just really love how that ended up looking. And I dried it with my heat gun, which I stole from my husband and it is now mine. Then I just began the fun process of gluing our, let's see, what is the word? Twine. <laughs> gluing our twine letters down to the board. <laughs> yes, I'm just using whatever I have laying around, but if you had like a book or something else to push down, down the letters, that would work as well, but use what you got. <laughs> and this is what I had on hand. And if it's not enough that I have probably already made so many projects with this faux leather ribbon, I thought I would toss in a little bit here. So I am taking the darkest leather ribbon from the Dollar Tree that I found and I'm going to wrap it up at the top and up at the bottom and I'm just going to pull it as tight as I can and glue it down. And I'm gonna also, <laughs> because that's not enough, after I glued that down, I take some of my braided ribbon, which I believe it's almost like a twine rope kind of ribbon. Not sure if you guys have seen this. I'm going to get a close up so that you can see the texture of this ribbon. And I just absolutely love, love, love how it looks. So I like the contrast of the colors of the light and the dark, and just wanted that to kind of pop at the bottom of the sun. So I'm going to do the same thing and layer the two on both sections of the sign.
Now I'm just going to take some of my Dollar Tree rope and this is actually a thinner rope than what I am used to at the Dollar Tree but I just recently picked it up. So I feel like it is thinner and almost shorter so I'm not quite sure. Have you guys seen this at your Dollar Tree like this thinner version? I, I like how it's not quite as thick but I don't like not getting it as much. So I just glued that down to the back and added a whole bunch of glue. And I wanted to personally invite you. I am going to be doing once a month a flipping furniture challenge. It's going to be an open invite and I'm going to have the first playlist live on February 5th at 5 p.m. My friend Jamie over at Simple Roots Simple Living is going to meet my first co-host and I am so excited and I hope you guys will be inspired. Anyone can join and I have all of the details in my description box if you would like to join in. And I feel as though you can't really tell how bright these little push lamps are from the Dollar Tree. I really like them. I might try to get some more of these just to use them around my house because I really like them and I've never picked them up before. So I really adore this little side lamp. I think it's a fun little whimsical element. Totally my style, eclectic and fun. I hope you guys enjoyed my two crafts and let me know which of the two are your favorite. If it's project number one or project two, two, I think I'm leaning towards my favorite because it has the texture that I love. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.